Hello guys and welcome back to Cobra Park Farm. So, here we are, back at the yard. Um, yesterday, Channing Turn, I hope you guys enjoyed that map, and that will be the new series. So, on kind of this episode, I've got a quick idea. These pallets, I could probably sell these, I mean that one's a write-off in a way, because you can't make that get to the full six got a package on it then that one will just sell because we're off down there anyway and to do this I think I'll take the case with that trailer on there because I'll kind of just take this case for a bit of a drive haven't really done that yet And it is a nice tractor to drive. Because, remember, you probably don't remember when I had one. It must have been like the first couple of episodes. Not a couple, like up to episode 20. Stuff like that. I did have a fair amount of time in this vehicle. But then I sold it because I think we had money issues or something like that. can't actually really remember but I do remember we had one and we also had a front loader case as well but now we have the JCB New Holland TM 320S not the JCB New Holland what am I on about JCB front loader and we did at some point have a New Holland I believe So, I'm not that good with driving this in the cab because kind of real life you got depth perception on this game you haven't really. You can kind of tell how far how far you've gone forward. I believe I had some issues with this pallet. Forks and stuff. Gets jammed really easily. Could probably do with getting a forklift instead of using the front loader. There we go. I'm still not that good with unloading pallets and stuff because it kind of, as you can see there, I don't know if you can see, but there, bottom of the screen, pallets kind of got stuck. It's a pain. Can I reverse here and get it off? No, I may have to scrap that idea actually. I won't do that on screen. That would be an off screen job because I kind of haven't got the time to be messing about with pallets and this pallet fork stuff so we'll pop back the trailer and one thing I believe I may have had to do this episode well what I think I may start to do as well I'm gonna cut the grass again with them big mowers just behind me crone because I haven't done that for a while and I believe I probably should. I will use the JCBs for that as it's kind of easier. And I won't do any of the tethering and stuff. I'll just simply just cut. I believe I'll just cut Winrow, and then use a f case with the easy, not the case, sorry, the crone with the easy flow to kind of do the mowing kind of st like the forage wagon stuff after I've mowed it. Now that area is still fairly laggy because of the 
amount of bales I actually have just there. I need to find a proper place for this actually. That's inside a shed. But here will do for now. Yeah, so I've got full access there. Which one is first? It's a rear mower. So I'll do the rear mower first. And I think guys, I know I've, I have done mowing quite a lot. So I will actually do a time lapse of the mowing. Because I kind of, kind of enjoyed doing that time lapse actually. It was kind of easier way of getting the job done. I can kind of spend a bit more time doing it. So do a time lapse of doing field, whichever field it is. Um, we've got the cow field there in front of us. Field 22 I believe it is. Yep, field 22. So I will do a time lapse of this field. So yeah, so it's time lapse. So I am back. Um, so we'll turn off the equipment and take it back to the farm. And whilst I was doing that, something kind of came to me. That crone. I mean, we're gonna have. I think I'll have to set up like a follow me mod when I'm going around in the crone, so that it follows. Well, so the tra this tractor and then the big trailer follows the crone with the easy collect, which is the one that's right at the back. So I will have to move that out the way before I can actually get to it. Or basically the trailer and the other headers out the way before I can start that. But before we do any of that... I need to windrow all of that. So don't think we have to do it with the tether. Don't think we have to go tether it. Pain if we did. But I'll just windrow it because it's a lot easier and kind of Start that now and then finish it off screen so you'll see about a minute of that. Then you'll see the rest off screen. Well you won't see it because I'll do it off screen but yeah you get what I mean. So I believe it's often easier to shut the gate when you're windrowing. So reverse up here. Is that axle turn? I think it does, that rear axle on there. There we go. So I'll start this now, uh, thanks for watching guys, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, uh, like, share and comment on this video, and please guys go check out my last video which I did, Chellington Farm, that will be tomorrow, so thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time, goodbye. So then guys, I did the wind rowing on that field and I just put uh, equipment back and then I moved the headers for the crone and I've already got the crone sitting in the field here waiting. So, 
Got the Easy Flow 300 on the front. Very good. And kind of came to me. The trailer I have at the moment, which I believe is this one. Could that do grass? And just looking now. No. So I need to get a new trailer. Which don't have any trouble choosing. It's this one. This one will be the one I use with the forage harvesters and stuff. So buy that. Okay. And then I will get them delivered. Get that delivered there. And I'll move the. Can I reset that? So, tractors. Reset that tractor. Okay. Then get into said tractor. Which is here. And bring down the trailer. Which I kind of need to wait for. So you will see about eight minutes of this now and then about no, about maybe ten minutes the next episode maybe, I don't know. It depends. So I'll drive through this field, still need to get the, all these fields cultivated and stuff. But it's nice I can just go to full speed through here. Then open up the gate. I think it opens towards me. Yep, that's why I kind of held back from driving out. Now then. When we drive this, I kind of wish there was a gate there, so I could get into that field from like this end. Now what is that stuck on? That's stuck on my rear wheel. So there we go. Yeah, I kind of wish there was a gate up there, but maybe in a newer version, if Bullet Bill 83 does a newer version. But yeah, it'd be nice. Just don't mind. Just easiest to drive in through there. So the way I said I'd do this is with follow me mod. So right offset. If we set it to the left offset of five, and then just know to do right offset apparently. Get the pipe out. That oh, recognises that trailer. Is that on? No. We need to unfold it. What speed can we go at now? 12, that's quite good actually. So if we can keep that where it is. So gradually bring up speed. And 
hopefully stay there and I won't be do dropping this off at the biogas power I will just be simply using it as feed for the cows because I kind of don't want to bring it down from the biogas because I would be using this from for feed pain using follow me mods but oh well fact can that trailer be used on the back of here probably not not really expecting it to work but it would kind of be nice if it did no that doesn't work on the back of here bit of a pain that I've actually got an idea. If we put follow me mod on, put a head distance to five, then that should actually bring it up a bit closer. I think it actually does. Yeah, that makes it easier. That trailer's at 42%. But this trailer will just be used for stuff with the forage harvester. May end up getting two. May not, don't know. I mean it's at 75% if I could get it to 100 but down there I reckon we're gonna have a very big and full silage pit this is a bit I kind of messed up on when I was doing wind rowing right to reverse that I mean, the case Puma could not handle this trailer, I don't think this this fast track's just about handling it. So I think I'll just have to mess that out there. Put it on the right hand side because all of these are left turned. Probably make my life a bit easier. 92%. If I had to drive, if I put the trailer there, if I can, hopefully it'll lock onto the trailer and fill it up to 100%. not filling up anymore so empty the trailer now then the next episode probably will just be this so I'll give you a quick warning but that will be after Chellington which is tomorrow As you can see there, I moved out Equip crone equipment. Now, I've kind of found a way to do this a bit easier. Drive it up here. When I'm reversing, reverse all the way to the back of this clamp. As far as it'll go, then it fills up the back. And then I've got this space at the front. 
for more. And there. 3% for 4%. This is going to be a very, very, very full clamp, I think. Just good. So then. And that's this episode done. So tomorrow, Chellington, like I said, we'll just be carrying on with that. And yeah. So I'll just quickly set this up to do the. Oh, well, I'll sort that out for the next episode. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time for the next episode. So, thanks, guys, for watching, and goodbye.